I'm here picketing the speaker from Planned Parenthood. It's not right to invite her as a, a good example of fundraising. Planned Parenthood raises its funds off of dead babies. They raise their funds off of hurting women. They raise their funds off of the racism and the eugenics that is in abortion and is part of the history of abortion. And so we do not think that it was a good idea for the St. Louis Plan Giving Council to invite somebody from Planned Parenthood to speak as, as a good example of a fundraiser. It's wrong to raise funds off of death, and that's what they're doing. Every time a baby dies, Planned Parenthood is going to be early next fall, and we must stand up for stand against abortion to stop it against God's law. It destroys human life. Planned Parenthood lies. Margaret Sanger targeted black people to eliminate them and make pretend that she didn't, but she did. It's in the history, and we need to stand against what Planned Parenthood stands for. Uh, basically, I'm here because that, uh, everybody knows that life is in that conception, and for the country to be in the shape that it's in and to kill babies, but the government can say that it's okay to kill the unborn babies, it's kind of ridiculous. And for the church especially not to be out here more uh, vocally, to be out here in uh, bigger numbers, is kind of a disgrace. Uh, I, what I would like to see is that every pastor, every church would at one point have something like this going on in their ministry, in their church. And then that way they could end abortion uh, in, in no time if they would start doing that. And as a pastor, my prayer and my goal is for all the pastors to start understanding that life does begin at conception and we are breaking one of the Ten Commandments when we tell uh, our young ladies in our church too that it's okay for abortion. I'm Stephanie McCoy, and I'm here because abortion kills, it destroys our nation, it, it, it hurts families, it, it just, it's disruptive, and it has no place. Life, life is so precious, and we need to hold on to it, not destroy it.